What's going on apes? Welcome back to the Zane Investing. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. I am here to provide an extensive AMC update. Charles V. Payne, our representative of the people, has had enough of market manipulation. Make certain to remain around. However, before I go, I ask that you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. A stock MBS was fraudulently traded through FINRA. Thus, FINRA suspends trading prior to the record debt of the preferred stock. In addition to this tweet from Edward Recheck, FINRA committed a felony by authorizing two market makers to front run. These two market makers should not be trading Matt's preferred shares. Citadel Securities and Virtu Financial Ken Griffin. Citadel and Doug Sifu are my best guesses. WTF else is new. Where is fairness? Okay, guys. One of the greatest stories of the past week involves FINRA, a business called Metamaterials, and one of the clearest indications to date that the level of market manipulation we observe on a daily basis is far more extensive than anyone could have expected. Some context is required here. The symbol MTG XLP represented a spin-off dividend that was never intended to be traded on the market. Citadel and Verdu decided they didn't like this, so they essentially built a market for it via the odd C trading system without alerting the firm, and then took out enormous short positions in the company, expecting its stock price would drop to zero. In any case, their community deduced this and effectively confirmed that there were twice as many short positions as shares. The hedge funds do what they do best, manipulate the price down to an unbelievable degree with Finner's approval. But at some time they recognize that they are about to be stuck in a short squeeze. When we find that one of the largest back holders of short short serves on the board of Finner, and they have utilized his connections there to effectively halt trade in the company, the situation becomes even stranger. As of Monday morning, the shorts would have been in dire straits, and a short squeeze might have exacerbated the liquidity issue we are currently experiencing, possibly leading to margin calls and squeezes in other stocks. Moreover, this demonstrates conclusively that even Finnery is complicit in market manipulation. This is not, however, the only sign that these federal authorities are complicit. Investor Reddit tweets, Reminders Citadel Security sold $65 billion worth of shares it has yet to acquire. If SBF can be arrested, then the SEQ must perform its duty and investigate Citadel Securities. It is time for them to purchase what they sell as a market maker. We have witnessed corporations like Citadel engage in questionable activities, such as this. They have sold $65 billion worth of securities into the market, but have never acquired them at fair market value in order to actually deliver the equities. This again highlights one of the intrinsic problems with the stock market. Companies like Citadel and Verdi use their identity as market makers to disadvantage individual investors. In this situation, they claim that this is simply a strategy similar to shorting in which they intend to acquire these positions later, when the market has fallen, utilizing price arbitrage to make a substantial profit in the end. The continued predatory behavior of AMC, GameStop, and Metamaterials demonstrates conclusively that the structure of the stock market was not designed for regular investors but rather to redistribute money from working-class people into the coffers of the 1%. Nonetheless, one more piece of the puzzle has just exploded in Wall Street's face, revealing the fundamental interdependence of the markets. AM Cheerleader tweets, On November 16th, retail investors learned that 8 quadrillion unauthorized AMC coins were created using FTX as a platform to short AMC. SBF questioned on Twitter Live on December 12th whether tokenized stock was backed one. One by SVF? According to my knowledge, they were detained hours later. I'm sure you're aware at this point that beleaguered FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried was detained in the Bahamas at the request of the Southern District of New York Prosecutor's Office for crimes ranging from bank fraud to wire fraud and fraud in general. A large amount of fraud persists across the whole industry, enabled by organizations like a Citadel and Verdu. And I concur with our man of the people, Charles V. Payne, that this must cease. The conclusion of this video, always ensure that you scroll to the bottom of the page. Tap the thumbs up button for me, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Go obtain some free stock from Moomoo. The link is included in the description. Acceptable thank you for supporting and viewing our station. Regards from the moon.